I don't always know where my ideas of what to do on the unicycle come from. Sometimes an idea is simple and just makes sense, like archery or juggling. Other times I want to try something that's ridiculous and that I will probably fail at, like paddleboarding or canoeing. Or maybe I just want an adventure, so I go mountain unicycling. But there are those rare times when an idea just pops into my head, apropos of nothing, and I have to stop whatever it is that I'm working on and try it. Solving a Rubik's Cube on the unicycle underwater was one of those ideas. But like most of my ideas, it ended up being much more complicated than I expected. I had ridden the unicycle underwater before, so I knew I had to fill the tire with water to prevent it from floating to the surface. However, riding underwater for a few seconds and idling underwater long enough to solve a Rubik's Cube are two very different things. In order to idle on the bottom of the pool, I needed more weight, not only on the unicycle, but also myself. For the unicycle, I zip-tied two five-pound weights to the seat. This took a little finagling, but I got it easy enough. For myself, I bought a 12-pound weighted vest but it turned out not to be enough weight to firmly plant me on the bottom of the pool, so I also hung two 15-pound weights on my shoulders. It wasn't the most comfortable, but it got the job done. And lastly, I used a small piece of rubber tubing to put on the end of the snorkel to extend it so I could breathe while on the unicycle. After all that, I just needed my Rubik's Cube and I was ready to give it a go. A couple years back I did a Rubik's Cube video on the unicycle with my best time being around a minute and 10 seconds. Since then I've gotten considerably better with my best time on the unicycle being just over 30 seconds. What would my time be underwater? Let's just say if I could stay on the unicycle, solve the cube, and not drown, I'd consider it a success. On my first attempt I started off good enough. I mean, it wasn't easy by any means. I had over 30 pounds of weight holding me down and an extended snorkel, which made breathing more difficult. But I was able to move the cube and stay upright on the unicycle. At about a minute in, I was close to solving the cube, but then ran into some problems. Right when I was finishing my last PLL algorithm, I lost balance and fell off, literally two or three moves away from finishing. So close! No, so close! Ah. I will try again. With all the weight on me and the unicycle and the difficulty breathing, I really only had enough energy for a couple solves at a time. But regardless, I had to give it at least one more try. Well, that's it. It may have been a more difficult process than I expected, but all in all, I was happy I didn't drown and I had a great time trying something completely new on the unicycle. Actually solving the cube in under a minute successfully was just a bonus. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see where our next adventure will take us. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Do it on a unicycle.